Welcome to another video in the LuxiGen channel. In this video, we will feature more than just skyscrapers in the traditional sense. This video will take a deep dive into the top 15 tallest structures in the world. We hope you enjoy these ultimate engineering feats in human history. So let's get right into it with the 15 tallest structures in the world. Number 15. Gerben D Tower, Netherlands we begin our list with the Gerbundy Tower, a concrete tower on which a guide aerial mast is mounted to be used for directional radio services as well as FM and TV broadcasts. Back in 1987, the aerial was much higher at 1200 feet. This could have potentially earned it a higher ranking, but it was lowered by about 10 meters. You could imagine what it would have been like before 1987 if you just look at the antenna height now. The antenna looks like a needle injecting a vaccine into the sky. Since the antenna was replaced with a digital one on 2nd August 2007, its height was reduced by an additional 9 meters. This makes it even more impressive in a way since despite its height being significantly reduced over the years, it still managed to make the list of tallest structures in the world. This tower is technically the tallest of its kind in Western Europe, if you count it as a tower. This was named after the Prime Minister of the Netherlands during World War II. Despite being a little smaller, this tower narrowly beats the radio tower in the Netherlands Zengdash and Smilda, which was damaged by fire in 2011. Number 14. Kyiv TV Tower, Ukraine Like our previous entry, this one has a similar purpose. This one was built in 1973 in Kyiv, Ukraine. Built from lattice steel, this tower is 1,263 feet high and used for radio and television broadcasts. With a cost of approximately $12 million, the Kyiv TV Tower is the second tallest freestanding lattice tower in the world, after Tokyo's Skytree. The tower was constructed starting in 1968 and finished in 1973. The materials used for its construction amounted to approximately 2,700 metric tons. Additionally, this tower's construction is unique since there are no rivets or mechanical fasteners used at all. To put it simply, every joint pipe and fixture is attached by welding, and the microwave transmitting and receiving equipment is housed in an enclosed level at the base of the television. FM transmitters are located on the second enclosed level, around 660 feet up. Ukraine was once part of the Soviet Union and maybe again, and the tower was originally intended for the Soviet capital Moscow, but authorities decided they preferred a more solid tower. So engineers decided to shorten the Kyiv Tower by 30% so it wouldn't steal the limelight from Moscow. Number 13. Gres 2 Power Station, Kazakhstan We've added a power station to our list, but not the actual power station. While we are sure this is a gorgeous tourist attraction and a great place to take the family, it's the chimney of this building that makes it into our list of the world's tallest structures. At a glance, you are left wondering how this huge, skinny thing stays upright. Originally commissioned back in 1987, the Gres 2 power plant in Kazakhstan is a coal-powered power plant with 1,000 megawatts of power capacity and the world's tallest flue gas tech with a height of 137 feet. Although it's a pretty impressive measurement on its own, when you consider that the reinforced concrete chimney is also 125 feet taller than the Inco Super Stack in Ontario, Canada, it quickly becomes clear that this is one of the tallest chimneys ever constructed. Gres 2 exports around three quarters of its energy to Russia, which might seem high considering that it is located in Kazakhstan, but it can certainly handle it. Here is another record this place holds. The Gres 2 power station is also the beginning of the Ekibus 2's Kokchitao power line, which transmits at 1,150 volts, which is the world's highest voltage transmission. Number 12. Dimona Radar Facility, Palestine We've got a few towers left, but these are a little more impressive than simple transmitters. Designed to track ballistic missiles through space and provide ground-based missiles with the targeting data necessary to intercept them, these two towers are crucial to the defense of the country. The two 1,312-foot radar towers in question are actually owned and operated by the U.S. military and only provide second-hand intelligence to Israel. Dimona's towers are the tallest in Israel, and they are the tallest radar towers in the world. Although it is not known exactly what radar type is being used at Dimona, it would make sense when you're trying to detect and destroy some enemy missiles that you wouldn't want to reveal too much about your technology. Some people claim the facility utilizes an ANTPY-2X band radar that can detect missiles up to 1500 miles away. However, a radar of this type does not typically use a tower. 
Therefore, this could just be a guess, but either way, it's the height of the objects we're looking for. I'm sure you'll agree that even these images are enough to make you dizzy and woozy. Number 11. Willis Tower, United States Now we'll jump up to 450 feet with Chicago's Willis Tower, known historically as the Sears Tower. This 108-story skyscraper was completed in 1974. It was at the time the tallest building in the world, surpassing the World Trade Center in New York. Not only that, but for 41 years, it was the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. This was until the World Trade Center was built on the site of New York's original Twin Towers. It also had the highest occupied floor space until it fell to another New York-based rival in 2019 with the completion of Central Park Tower. Nevertheless, it is the third tallest building in the United States and the Western Hemisphere. It's one of Chicago's major tourist destinations, welcoming over a million people each year to its observation deck. The Willis Tower is regarded as one of Fazlur Rahman Khan's seminal achievements, particularly since it appeared in classic movies such as Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Considering he also created the 100-story John Hancock Center, he has been described as the Einstein of structural engineering as well as the greatest structural engineer of all time. It was known as the Sears Tower because it was the headquarters of the retailer Sears until it was purchased by the Willis Group in 2009. However, locals are still referring to it as that, so its name change hasn't made much difference. Number 10. VLF Transmitter, United States It's not an iconic building, and it's not particularly photogenic either. But at 1,053 feet high, it's still a very tall structure. The Lualuale VLF transmitter at Lualuale, Hawaii transmits orders in the very low frequency range to several of its submerged submarines. It operates on 21.4 kHz and 23.4 kHz using the call sign NPM and uses two masts, each measuring 1,503 feet tall. These are examples of umbrella antennas which are fed by an overhead cable attached to the mast at one end and to a small mast at the opposite end near the helix building. In the span field, the feeder is attached to the small mast with an insulator. Since they are built in 1972, these unfeasibly tall masts held the distinction of being the tallest towers used for military purposes in the Western Hemisphere. Furthermore, they were the tallest towers used for long-wave transmissions in the Western Hemisphere. Since the collapse of Poland's Warsaw radio mast, it's been suggested that the two massive structures of the VLF transmitter may have been the tallest structures electrically insulated from the ground. Number 9. Petronas Twin Towers, Malaysia Especially when it's lit at night, this entry starts to resemble something you'd see at NASA's launch pad or SpaceX. Located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the Petronas Twin Towers at 1,482 feet held the title of the tallest building in the world from 1998 to 2004 before being surpassed by Taipei 101, the World Financial Center in Taiwan. However, the Petronas Twin Towers remain the tallest buildings in Malaysia at least for now, even though it is expected that the Merdeka PNB 118 will eventually pass them in height by 2022. As of now, they are ranked number 10 on our list, and quite rightly too, as they can be seen from a quite few locations in Kuala Lumpur. They are miles above every other building, and their structures are based on a tube-in-tube -tube design that has been used extensively on tall buildings for years. It was invented by Fazlur Rahman Khan, the designer of Chicago's Willis Tower and the Sears Tower. According to the architect Cesar Pelli, the 88 floor towers are designed in a postmodern style and constructed largely of reinforced concrete, while the glass facade resembles the traditional art of Islam, which is the dominant religion in Malaysia. Number 8. Trolla Platform, Norway From pictures taken at different times of the trolley platform, it either looks like a lot of offshore gas platforms or like Martians from H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. In addition to being one of the largest and most complex engineering projects in history, the Troll Platform was the tallest structure ever moved relative to the Earth's surface. In 1996, when the largest object ever towed into the North Sea was this gravity-based offshore natural gas platform and the Troll Gas Field off the west coast of Norway, even beating out another platform, the Gold Fox Sea, in this very niche category. There is a huge difference in displacement. Troll A had a displacement of 1.2 million tons, whereas Gulf Axe C managed a whopping 1.5 million tons. The amount of water that would have actually been displaced had these two very fat humans dive-bombed into a swimming pool would have been smaller than what Trolley would have been, but then again, who cares when you're 1,549 feet tall, and it deserves a place at number 8 on our list. 
Number 7. Bullwinkle Oil Platform, United States If there was ever going to be a country that named an oil platform after a cartoon character, it would be the United States. It's hard to imagine a more iconic cartoon character than Rocky and Bullwinkle. Those of you who are unaware of this dynamic duo, Rocky was a squirrel wearing a pilot's helmet. Rocky was a much larger member of the partnership, a strong, majestic, and slightly stupid moose. At the time of its construction, the Bullwinkle oil platform was the tallest freestanding structure in the nation. It stood 1,736 feet tall with 1,352 feet below the surface of the water. Superior Energy Services decided to decommission the platform at the end of its economic life in 2010. In addition, it is also among the tallest freestanding structures ever built. At the time, only Canada's CN Tower and Russia's Onstankino Tower were taller. It's hard to imagine the size and scope of this massive giant, but when this pile-supported steel oil platform in the Gulf of Mexico was originally installed in 1988, the total weight was 77,000 tons, of which 49,000 tons comprise the submerged steel jacket. Watching the images of this rig being towed makes you feel like you're watching a scene from a post-apocalyptic movie, but what a beautiful sight it is. Number 6. A Brajal Bight, Saudi Arabia Probably the most impressive of all the structures on this list, the Abrajal Bight is a government-owned complex of seven skyscraper hotels in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The majestic Mosque of Mecca, not only the largest mosque in the world and the most holy site of Islam, is within walking distance of the towers and forms an integral part of everyday functioning. A project of the King Abdulaziz Endowment aimed at modernizing the city for pilgrims. In addition to the two large prayer rooms, the buildings contain a five-star hotel designed to accommodate the millions of pilgrims who travel annually to Mecca. The Abraj al Bay Towers were built by the Saudi Bin Laden Group and are the second most expensive building in the world, costing $15 billion, the third tallest building in the world, and also feature the world's biggest clock face, which you can see right now on your screens. It sits on the original site of the Ijad Fortress, an 18th-century Ottoman citadel that once overlooked the mosque. The fortress was demolished by the Saudi government in 2002, provoking international outrage and a strong reaction from Turkey. Number 5. Canton Tower, China With a height of 1,982 feet, the Canton Tower appears bizarre, as if someone had taken it and given it a good twist. Its bizarre construction is magnified even further when you consider how tall it is. Originally known as Guangzhou TV Astronomical and Sightseeing Tower, the Canton Tower is Guangzhou's multi-purpose observation tower located in the Haishu district. The tower became operational for the 2010 ASEAN Games after being completed in 2009. It briefly dethroned Canada's CN Tower as the tallest tower in the world before the Tokyo Skytree replaced it as the world's tallest tower. For a few years, the Canton Tower was also the tallest structure in China. But when the Shanghai Tower topped it out on August 3, 2013, it became only the second tallest in China and the fourth tallest freestanding structure in the world. At least it can claim to be completely unique in its design. The towers are formed by two ellipses, one at the foundation and one at a horizontal plane rotated with respect to one another. The tightening caused by this formed a waist, so the lattice structure that is porous at the bottom becomes denser near the waist, similar to a twisted rope. This tower definitely snatched away world records. Number 4. KVLY TV Mast, United States Here we are again in the TV Mast territory, and just look at the height of this thing. Located in Blanchard, North Dakota, the KVLY TV Mast is a television transmitting mast that stands at 2,603 feet. It is either the only or one of the very few structures to have ever regained the title of tallest structure in the world. The mast wasn't officially the tallest structure in the world when it was first built in 1963. This can be traced back to the thing that beat it in the first place, the Wausau radio mast, which was taller than the KVLY TV mast in 1974. When the Warsaw mast collapsed in 1991, the KVLY TV mast resumed its position as top structure in the Western Hemisphere for many years. The network dominated until 2008, when it was surpassed by Atlanta's Great Television. It is operated by KVLY-TV in Fargo, North Dakota, and transmits on Channel 44 at 356 kilowatts. The tower serves a broadcast area of 9,700 square miles with a radius of about 55.6 miles. This tower has always been a local landmark for its height, so much that when the mast was built, the television station changed its call letters to KTHI, with the high referring to its height. 
It can also be accessed by a ladder if you're insane enough not to take the elevator if you are unlucky enough to have to get up there. Number 3. Tokyo Skytree, Japan I now present to you a structure that has been tantalizing you for a long time. A towering Tokyo Skytree standing at a ridiculous 2,080 feet high. It's a broadcast tower in Sumida, Tokyo. Even though it was not yet fully built, it was the tallest structure in Japan in 2010 and eventually became the tallest structure in the world in 2011. It's quite astounding to see the images of the Tokyo Skytree. This is because it dwarfs all the surrounding buildings and appears as a massive spike growing from the earth. Tobu Railway owns the complex and it is home to a group of six terrestrial broadcasting companies headed by NHK. This makes it the primary television and radio broadcasting facility in the Kanto region. The older Tokyo Tower, due to its surrounding high-rise buildings, no longer provides complete digital terrestrial television coverage. With the new Tokyo Skytree, there's no possibility of that happening. Can you imagine any neighboring building competing with this one? Number 2. Petronius Oil Platform, United States You won't believe it, but at number 2, there's another oil platform. We don't get to see oil platforms up close, we only see them poking out of the ocean somewhere on the horizon. But as this list proves, these things are huge. With a height of 2,100 feet, Petronius is located 210 kilometers southeast of New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico. It was officially the tallest freestanding structure in the world from the seafloor to the tip of the flare boom. However, the number one structure on our list beat it off the top spot back in 2010. This platform is actually 1,754 feet above the seabed, so it is incredibly high. The platform was built to exploit the Petronius field, discovered in 1995 and named after the Roman writer Petronius. Approximately 60,000 barrels of oil and 100 million cubic feet of natural gas are extracted daily by the platform. Oh, and by the way, the compliant tower is designed to be more flexible than conventional land structures to cope with the sea forces, so in other words, it's pretty mobile. Number 1. Burj Khalifa, Dubai Number 1 standing at 2,722 feet tall is the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai. Since its completion in 2009, it has been the tallest structure and building in the world. The building is named after the ruler of Abu Dhabi and the president of the United Arab Emirates, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan. The design of the building may have been influenced by the fact that Abu Dhabi and the UAE government partnered to buy money to pay its debts, Skidmore Owings, and Merrill designed the Willis Tower and One World Trade Center. Due to the government's decision to diversify from an oil-based company, the Burj Khalifa was built and Dubai has achieved international recognition. Unfortunately, despite the Burj Khalifa being generally praised, there was also plenty of criticism regarding the treatment of migrant workers during construction, leading to numerous suicides. Such a tragic legacy for such an incredible building. We hope you enjoyed this Luxygen video. Please let us know what you think of these 15 tallest structures in the world in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.